Today we're going to be graphing inequalities on a number line. Inequalities are when you have greater than, less than, equal to, you can have greater than and equal, or less than and equal. So keep that in mind as we're graphing these inequalities. This inequality says x is greater than 4. When an inequality is just greater than, you're going to put an open circle on that number. So on 4, I'm going to put an open circle on it. And then I know that it's greater than 4, so I know that it, the arrow is going to go to the right of 4 because those are all the numbers that are greater than 4. This inequality says x is greater than or equal to 0. So I'm going to find 0 and I'm going to put a closed circle on there because that means that 0 is included in the answer. When you have a greater than an equal to or a less than an equal to, you're going to have a closed circle. So looking at that, I know that x is greater than or equal to 0, so I know that the arrow is going to point to all the numbers that are greater than 0 or to the right of 0. And remember, it's a closed circle because it's, it's 0 and it's equal to 0 or greater than 0. For this next one, I have x is greater than negative 3. I can see that my inequality is just a greater than sign, which means that I'm going to have an open circle. I'm going to go to negative 3 and put an open circle. I know that x is greater than negative 3, so I draw an arrow towards all the numbers that are greater than negative 3, which is going to go to the right of negative 3. The next one says x is less than or equal to 2. The less than or equal to 2 tells me I'm going to have a closed circle on 2. So looking at that, I'm going to go straight to 2 and put a closed circle on it. And then I know x is less than or equal to 2, so I'm going to draw my arrow to all the numbers that are less than or equal to 2. Remember, the closed circle means that it's included, and the open circle means that it's not included. Now for these inequalities, I'm going to have to identify what they are by using the number line. So I can see that the first one is going to be on a 2. So I know that x is going to be in relation to 2. But I need to figure out if it's greater than or equal to or less than. And I also need to figure out if it's greater and equal or just greater. So looking at that, I see that it's going to be an open circle, which tells me it's just going to be either greater than or less than. And looking at that, I know that it's pointing to the right, which tells me x is greater than 2. The next one shows a closed circle on 4. A closed circle is going to be greater than and equal to or less than or equal to. So I know that my symbol in the middle will have a line on the bottom. And I know that it's going to be x and 4 on the two sides. I know that it's pointing to the left, which means x is going to be less than or equal to 4. Remember to look at the arrows and which way they are pointing, and also do a sanity check. Does it make sense? 